Colombia has launched an emergency plan to combat severe drought throughout the country. The El Nino, Nino weather phenomenon has ravaged several regions, causing the death of livestock and damage to the crops. Michelle Bega reports from Bogota. Colombian officials announced this week that 117 municipalities of Colombia are in a vulnerable state and could be on the border of facing permanent shortages of potable water. 20 regions of Colombia are also on red alert for forest fires. President Juan Manuel Santos announced measures to contain the damage, such as the drilling of water wells, purchasing water trucks, and offering financial assistance to the agricultural sector. Santos has also urged Colombians across the country to reduce water consumption. The state of emergency comes after news of severe droughts throughout Colombia, where temperatures can reach up to 41 degrees Celsius, or over 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Approximately 10,000 hectares used for cultivating have been severely affected by the water shortages and can no longer produce. Colombia's Ombudsman's Office reported 15 children died of thirst and disease in La Guajira region, yet the Superintendent of Health believes the number of deaths may be more since communities often bury their children on their land without reporting it. There are already reports that the drought is affecting the price of foods. Lemons, potatoes, mangoes have already gone up 10 to 50 percent in Bogota. Experts say this can only get worse once the El Nino phenomenon arrives, which begins this summer and develops through October and November.